It started in London with me almost missing my flight to Portugal, which is why I looked a bit flustered there. But I made it. And this time we are flying from London Gatwick to Lisbon. Are you wondering why there is a sardine shop at the airport? You should, because the sardine lies at the heart of Portugal's pre-served seafood tradition. I've arrived and I'm waiting for the transport, guys. Lisbon has started to have restaurants that serve traditional dishes from all over Portugal, mm -hmm. not just local food from Lisbon. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have so many good dishes all over the country mm -hmm. and it's good instead of like to go for example north of Portugal to get that food we can get it from here in Portugal. Okay, okay. And is it just as good as um, the one in the north or? Yeah because most of the people that are coming to they Lisbon are from Lisbon. there. Okay. So they know the But the what about the ingredients here. and stuff? Yeah like the that. ingredients and everything. Which is which is good and we have plenty of good dishes find the socket thing because we are in Portugal and obviously Portugal has got European sockets the same ones uh, we have in Poland let's see if I have the thing I don't know yes I did buy it good so this is what you need so notice how I am dressed at the end of November the Portuguese weather is lovely. Their winters are mild with average daytime temperatures between 15 and 16 Celsius. This was funny. In this shop, the lady was trying to tell me that the bread I was trying to buy for breakfast was just a dummy for decoration. But because of the language barrier, I couldn't understand and kept insisting that that's what I wanted. Are these buns or bread? Oh, oh no. Next to it, next to it. A bread is position. Huh? Is position. What's that? Is position. What's that? Is that a bread or? Yes, bread. I'll no, have, I'll no, have that. No good. I have that. I have that one. Mm -hmm. Exposition. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Happened. I understand. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't eat it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, wow. So this lady was lovely, but people in Lisbon are generally very kind, so, so it's no have, surprise. Um, that's right, yes. Please, I'll have three. Three? Mm -hmm. I, I don't really like passage the no. <laughs> I tried the ones from Belém. So these are the pastage de nata, popular Portuguese pastries. Pastage de Belém is one of Lisbon's most popular tourist attractions, where you can buy pastage de Belém, the original pastage de nata, made following a secret recipe. Again, I'm not a fan but I don't mind a few roasted chestnuts on the go. Can I have some of these as well, please? How much are they? There you go. Here's an interesting way of recycling the bills. Not the most hygienic, but fine. So here I was trying to record the African guys selling bits. There are quite a few reminders of Africa across Lisbon.
Since this is the time of reflection, I will let myself be a little more vulnerable in this vlog. I hope you don't mind. Lisbon feels like a city where relationships flourish, partially due to the pace of Lisbon, which is slower than that of London, where I live. So wherever I went, I kept noticing happy couples and happy families, which triggered a little sadness in me because I was there alone and felt very lonely too. Being alone and feeling alone are not the same thing. But this time around, I experienced them both. I usually enjoy my own company and don't need people to fill in the gaps. But this time, Lisbon was a bittersweet experience for me because of what I'm going through. I have been married for 18 years but I'm now separated from my husband and as much as I love Lisbon I think this was my fourth time visiting the city I felt lonely when I was there What's the reflection? Well, it is not so much about where you are in the world it is who you are with and whether you are joyful on the inside You can be in the most beautiful place on earth but if you don't feel quite right inside you can't appreciate it Here's another reflection of a much lesser <laughs> magnitude. Roasted chestnuts leave you with very dirty hands. So consider that before you opt in for roasted chestnuts on the go. The sidewalks of Lisbon flaunt these beautifully designed tiles, but they are very slippery, especially when it rains. Plus, if you plan to walk, know that Lisbon is a city of hills. It adds to its character, but be aware that your walk will often be very up and down. <laughs> so this is the popular Time Out Market. A Lisbon food market located inside the historic Mercado da Ribeira. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. So let's have a quick look around. My final reflections. It is Christmas time. If you have your loved ones with you right now, you are very, very blessed, wherever you are. I hope you know this. This year has been very challenging for me. It was slippery and very up and down, just like the streets of Lisbon. I fell down many times, got pushed down sometimes, and shed many more tears than I can count. But. Thank God, I have been able to keep on moving. These crabs at one of the timeout restaurants conclude my Portugal vlog. I am in Poland right now, and we had Vigilia, the Polish Christmas dinner, yesterday. 
as is the custom here. Ours was a small but lovely event, and after everyone had left, my auntie and grandma recruited me to sing carols with them. So before you go, stay for this brief Polish Christmas carol session and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see here. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Chrystus się rodzi, nas oswobodzi, anieli grają, króle witają, pasterze śpiewają, bydlem tak lękają, cuda, cuda ogłaszają.